Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna do the review on the Savilland Poly Gel Kit. This is the new one and it's a blue. Um, so I believe that they have a lot of uh, glitter blue. So it's really pretty. I'm excited about it. So that's the instruction. This is a um, dual form and regular form. So it comes with seven color and the brush solution, top coat and base coat, and nail file. So I believe that one of them they have the cat eye. So here is everything that come with the kit. So right now I'm going to swatch out um, all of the color for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, I'm not going to use all the color in here today. This one is a cat eye color. And that's the clear. So here's a close look of how they look like. So they do have blue, glitter blue, and green. So right here I'm trying to use the cat eye, but maybe because it was so small I cannot see the difference. I already have my nail on. Uh, it's a cover tip. It's like a gel X. So right now I'm just gonna put the poly gel on top. So right here, um, I would try to do like an ombre on this finger. So it'll be like a glitter blue ombre with the jelly blue on the top. So uh, right now I'm trying to use um, alcohol with the poly gel. And I noticed that it didn't really win well. It gave me a hard time because the poly gel it doesn't want to move the way that I want it to move. So the next finger, I'm going to use uh, the slip solution that comes with the kit. And it actually works a lot better. So I recommend with this brand, Savvy Land, you guys should use with the slip solution that comes with it. It actually look better than the alcohol So right now I just flash cure it up real fast for a couple seconds so the poly gel they won't uh, move around and then I'll do the jelly glue on top of it. Right here, I just add a little bit more of that jelly blue on top. Because uh, when I did it earlier, somehow it came off a lot of the blue. So it become more clear. So the second finger, I will try to like an ombre with two color. So it will be like a shimmery blue and a shimmery purple. And 
after uh, I cure the nails I noticed that that purple is the thermal color so when it get hotter it will go a lot lighter and when it get cold it, that the color is gonna come out like a dark purple so it's a really pretty color that's my favorite out of this kit Um, today the brush that I use I didn't use the brush that came with the kit Because I know that when I do like a longer nail the smaller brush actually take longer to do so I just got one of the brush that I use for the acrylic but um, this brush is size 10 and it actually for me I feel it's work better for the longer nail and I feel like I can able to move the poly gel around easier but the thing is that when you use the liquid um, slip solution in the paper towel more because you don't want to get too much of that slip solution on your brush so that will make your poly gel running around just keep your brush a little bit more dry This is my first video ever that I post on YouTube. Uh, so if you guys new, I'm new too. Welcome. And if you like video, please subscribe to my channel. So every time in my post a new video, um, they're gonna send you the notification when you click the bell. You know, hope you guys likes the video today. Um, I'm actually do a lot of like review video about poly gel which I know right now with the craziness right now with the COVID-19 everybody trying to do their own nail so right here I'm doing my own nail and I wanted to share with you guys how I do it I mean I really love to uh, do a lot of design and have fun with it you know so today this nail because of the color it came out it actually inspired me uh, to do like a sky clown look so I really love the blue so it look like a sky so uh, I'm gonna do like a rainbow on one ring finger and then the rest I'll do like a clown nail so I know that a lot of people do that design right now too so it will be pretty so this finger right here I'm trying to do the ombre the two color of that purple and the blue And this finger because of that purple color is a thermal color so after I cure that nail they actually look like a lot more ombre because when it's close to your cuticle your body temperature warmer so the color actually went lighter This last finger, I'm just gonna do one color only. Yeah, sorry guys if the camera a little bit shaking.
So now I'm curing my nail and I shape the nail. You see how the thumb, after I cure it, it looks like an ombre look. So here I'm just trying to uh, use hand file to file my nail with the stilo stiletto shape. After that, I'm using the e-file to smooth out the nail, especially around the cuticle, to blend out where the cuticle lies with the poly gel. So when your nail grow out, it looks a lot smoother. It doesn't show the line. So poly gel, I noticed that it's a lot softer than. So when I do this, I try to have my e-file speed a really low setting, just to smooth it out a little bit. So after that, I'll just buff the nail so the nail will be nice and smooth and ready for the gel on top. So right here, I'll just applying the base coat before I wanted to do any design on my nails. After that, I cure my nail and get ready for the design. So we are trying to do the rainbow nails. So I just have all the colors, seven color laying out, and yeah, just drawing the rainbow. Rainbow is my favorite things in the world. They are so beautiful. So right here, I just try to flash cure them real fast, so the color they won't move around. Cause right here, I just use like a regular gel polish, so they do have consistency a lot thinner. But if you guys could get those gel that they made it for drawing for the design, which is a lot thicker, then you could don't have to flash cure it. Cause they're not gonna move around.
So right here, the purple, um, I didn't like that purple, it was too light. So I got another purple that actually like a darker one. Okay, so right now I try to draw um, a cloud with the, the dotting tool actually a lot easier than when you're trying to do it with a brush. Right here, just get the brush and just blend it out a little bit, like make it like an ombre look, you know, so they don't have just one white color. And I do the same thing with the rest of the nails. So each nail will have like two, three flowers, depending how much you want it to plow. Now I just do the brush only. So here I use um, Macar gel for the rhinestone. So I just squeeze out a little bit everywhere where I wanted to place the rhinestone. What I love about this, uh, rather than the glue, is that it gives you more time to play around with the gel. Um, with the gel, it doesn't cure until you place it in the UV light. So when you place your rhinestone, you can actually take your time and moving around when you actually likes the way it look ready, and then you can cure it. This here's the finished look guys. I just applying the cuticle oil and just rub it in. So we have really cute rainbow sky nail look. Uh, right here I put it in the cold water and you can see the purple one that the thermal color turned a lot darker. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you next time and this is how the color looks. You have a great day.